If your father is Mansa Amusa, the emperor who is reputed to have been the richest person and still maintains the record of being the richest person in history, and you don't know about it, you will live a life of a beggar. This is exactly what has happened to us, the Africans. Let us show you in this uh, brief journey of what has been done to us. Through the biggest identity theft, the slaughtering of African success which is happening right now. The body is the temple of the gods within you. Therefore it is said, Men, know thyself. Pahati we pa hawati na taru men ekent ten eket eref seu iri pati rex re desen. The Middle East belongs to the African. This is what we must know. One more thing here. All the wealth therein is ours too. This is very astounding. Because if that is possible, it means that all the oil, the daily crude oil production in the Middle East, all the revenue coming from that must be in your pocket. Must be for a black person. This is a very true. Identity theft. Why identity is very important. Our ancestors coined the saying, know thyself. Identity is your overacting sense in view of yourself helps you to acquire that which is yours. All this is ours. The white and mulatto Arabs are clearly classifiable as Caucasians. The mainstream media and sympathetic Western scholars by and, and the collusion of invader governments and organizations like UNESCO perpetuate the myth that the Middle East is not part of Africa for a reason because they don't want to show that the original people in ancient Egypt were like Africans whom they colonized. There was an ancestral warning so that we can claim what is ours. We were the greatest race. We are still the descendants of the greatest race ever to walk on this planet called the earth. Our ancestors established civilizations in the Sudan, Ethiopia, Egypt, Kush, Aksum, Nigeria, Ghana, Mali, Kingdom of Songhai, where East African kingdoms, the Millennium Tapa Kingdom, and they taught us that growth in consciousness doesn't depend on the will of the intellect or its possibilities but on the intensity of the inner edge. Because the crude oil is ours, the Middle East is ours. Here is the proof of the original inhabitants of Northeast Africa, so-called Middle East today. There is the African wearing the collar. You can look at the Swazi king, at the Nguni kings, at the Nguni princes. We all wear this. This is Amasis, Amos three, pharaoh of the 26th dynasty. He doesn't look like the Arab. They have mutilated the nose. He doesn't look like the modern Arab. All the lies they have shown us. This is the modern Arab. Assad. More images. The Arab came 600 years later. This is the original Arab. Origin Syrian. Original Babylonian looks like this. Not like that. This is the original Amenhemet the third, Father of the 12th dynasty. Son of Senusaret III. We are their descendants. Where are their descendants? They are scattered all over the earth. Here are their descendants. The archers from Nubia. Greatest warriors of all time. More images. Black, brown, red, blue, black. We are all the same. You can see there. 
they are brown already you can see here anubis black this is clearly us you can see here kia wife of akhenaton there it is so open so clear so that we can never doubt this is the proof we initiated and originated meditation yoga began in africa you can see this is us here they there they have tried to remove the black hair and put and but they forgot to remove there but the color is still the same these are darker than than him there we are in our african spiritual dance this is exactly africa this is how we do it where we can be found this is Neith, the early goddess in egyptian pantheon she's an african straight no question about that amenhotep the third 18th dynast pharaoh son of tutmes the third amenhotep the second there we are these are africans they don't look like arabs all the proof they are bringing the proof they shall bring in the future they are destroying all the images today and pulling them down and putting themselves in there so we are putting this video out so that you can capture it down, download it and keep it for future reference there we are straightforward no questions this is uh, the statue of mera this is the fifth dynast uh, pharaoh this is isis or isis ancient egyptian date they don't look like the modern arabs if arabs are the originals why do they mutilate the faces of our ancestors or their ancestors if i want to be a uh, funny look at that even though they did that we know we are there look at what they did they were trying to chisel off they tried to remove there the modern arabs in all so-called middle east from algeria right up to iraq down up to yemen are not the originals they came from europe here they are first of this statue shows sign of attack they've attacked it look at how they tried to take off the nose they took off the nose mutilating the face but the native black african origin of this pharaoh is still clear they are throwing this they are destroying this they have done it for years here is itero too iretoru keeper of the temple of aman does he look like european does he look like afaz al-assad nah this is what is we explain this is our mother isis and the horn so exactly she is a black person not like the modern day arab forget about all the tricks they are coming up with dna so-called dna and all the images now that are coming and coming and the comparison they are doing on the internet everywhere that's all lie the images are there they look like this sitting on the lap of isusu or the throne of isusu this was the language of the warrior mother goddess and it was her right to choose the next warrior leader king or queen this is what they did danto of haiti this firm caused her to choose bokman to lead the haitian revolution this is our culture black africa is the genesis of ancient civilization and the human story what are we doing about this advanced research and studies in prehistory and paleontology have proved and confirmed the similarities between the original founders of the pharaonic civilization ancient nubians ethiopians and egyptians according to many ancient testimonies the inhabitants of the sudan of uh, kush of egypt of arabia or palestine were black just like this straightforward this is how they look like but they mutilated the nose this is nekbet neke architect of six, in the sixth dynasty does he look like an arab does he look like a mulatto does he look like a european does he look like an asian no never not in a hundred million years so the middle east is northeast africa so it is africa and the oil that is found there is africa's oil it is our inheritance it is our crude oil it is our culture that they are stealing oil and gas developments in africa must include the middle east once it will do that it will mean that the middle east which is producing 63 percent of global or crude oil used since uh in 2000 since 2003 is all africa look at how we have lost massively about two-thirds of the world crude oil is found in the middle east read that africa one of the major desert areas in the world read that africa 
the oil reserves in the Middle East in Africa was found since 1930s. Until now, it is, most of our crude oil is found in this area. Most high quality crude oil is found in Africa. This is true. It can satisfy our consumption for about 40 more years. This is true. Is Africa's worth. Those who are enjoying it are enjoying it sub -defuge. Now, what do we need to do to restore this? First, we will just summarize this. The 13th first, what we need to do first, the 13 things we need to do first, to love ourselves as black people, to stop gun violence, especially in Africa, especially in South Africa and in the United States. Love your African brother first, your African sister first, your African ancestry first. Family first, African family first. No two ways about how we create our family. We create it through marriage. Internal first, first value what is in you, which is the kinetic blood. Mahati first, keep the laws of Mahat. Do good deeds, hard work, simplicity, strong first. This is what we do. This is what we should do to achieve success. I end up by quoting Hannibal Afrik, who said, as African parents and teachers, we must critically assess whether our personal values and lifestyles have influenced our children towards cultural empowerment or towards cultural genocide. Furthermore, we all must accept our responsibility for the social and intellectual development of our youth and inculcate in them our ancestral legacy of mastery, not mediocrity. Thank you. This is Priest Teacher Rabbi L.M. Tumizulu. Subscribe to our channel, Hamiti Hebrew Ethics. Until we have to restore all of Africa, we are still on the war path. We are still fighting. Thank you. Goodbye.